Hi, hi folks. Between South Korea and Japan currently, there's some trade issues taking place, as we would say, a trade spout for less than a trade war. And the genesis of this happens to happen from a recent Supreme Court decision in South Korea. Now I'm going to give you a simplistic view of the whole situation here, but if you would like a more detailed explanation and review, I have a link to the article from the website, The Diplomat, that goes into excellent detail of what happened, why it happened, and the possible solution. I'm going to skip over a lot per my interpretation of the events. The Supreme Court in South Korea, in essence, nullified a 1965 treaty between South Korea and Japan in which the Japanese, in that 1965 treaty, gave South Korea around $800 million in uh, donations and soft loans to give to people who have claims against Japan during and before the Second World War. But instead of the government of South Korea turning the money over to the claimants, they kept it for themselves on building infrastructure projects, dams, power lines, highways, railroads, stuff like that. Well, the 1965 agreement also stated in there that this settles all claims current, previous, and in the future. You can't file any more claims to people of Korea against Japan for anything that happened during that period. Well, a bunch of people claiming that they were forced into labor by the Japanese during the Second World War. Now remember, Korea was part of Japan at that time. They filed a complaint. They wanted to be compensated. They went up to the Supreme Court and they said, sure, forget about the 65 agreement. Japan, you owe them money. As a result, making it liable to any Japanese operations in South Korea to be confiscated, liquidated, and given to those people who filed a claim. Now wait a minute, forced labor? My uncles were in forced labor in the Second World War. Yeah! They were drafted by the United States Army. What? Is, weren't they forced? Now my father joined the Marines, so he wasn't forced. Well anyway, so now Prime Minister Abe, who has to protect this country, has said, now wait a minute, if you're going to start confiscating our stuff that we export into South Korea, we're just not going to send certain items there. Forget about it. Well, that infuriated some South Koreans. Instead of pointing the finger at the Supreme Court for nullifying the treaty, they're blaming Japan. Yeah! Why are you people in Japan once again? So they're boycotting Japanese products. Stores will not sell Japanese products. Gas stations will not fill up Japanese automobiles. But wait a minute, aren't those South Korean drivers in those automobiles? Forget about it. You're still not getting anything. You understand? <laughs> the South Korean airliners refuse to fly into Japan. And there's been demonstrations against Japan by the South Koreans. There's been demonstrations in Japan against the South Koreans over this issue. Now, <laughs> that, 
That wasn't it. Oh, those were Japanese demonstrating in Japan, yeah. But they were demonstrating against the Olympics coming to Japan next year. They don't like that idea. Maybe he, this, this is a demonstration by the Japanese towards the South Koreans. <laughs> now, once again, yes, they are Japanese in Okinawa protesting who? Me! Well, not me, but the United States Marine Corps. <laughs> I, listen, I did what I thought to have been a thorough search on Google looking for Japanese protesting South Koreans in reference to this recent trade dispute and I was not able to locate any. The only demonstrations taking place were in South Korea, the country that initiated this whole thing. Now they're saying we need to get the United States involved. I say no and forget about it. Now Secretary of State Pompeo has met with two ministers from both countries to try to get them to resolve the issue. But let me tell you something here folks. You do not want to involve the Trump administration because Trump and Prime Minister Abe get along fabulously well. Not only do they get along well, they are friends. The first foreign leader to call Trump upon getting elected, Prime Minister Abe. The first foreign leader to visit, Prime Minister Abe, who plays golf among all the other foreign leaders more, Prime Minister Abe with President Trump. And when now when President Trump went to Seoul, South Korea, what did they do? They shoved a couple of women in his face. Wait a minute. Don't you know? <laughs> President Trump thinking to himself, what's going on here? Why would they put me on the spot like this? In essence, that's what they did. He, they know he can't say anything for or against it because of the two allies. So they put him on the spot. Don't you think that's what Trump is thinking right now? My golf buddy and the other guy who shoved a woman in my a comfort, an ex comfort woman in my face. Well, the article The Diplomat has some suggestions for on how this could possibly be resolved. One of them was for President Moon of South Korea to stop resurrecting up the past and throwing it into Japan's face. Forget about it. You're not the only country that has complaints about the past. Almost every country has complaints about the past in reference to another country. But you are the only one that keeps resurrecting it into the face of an ally. You also suggest in the article that Moon needs to accept the 1965 treaty. It's a treaty. You're stuck with it. Sorry, your predecessor signed it. Now you have to go along with it unless you negotiate another treaty. Also, it suggested that President Moon do not enforce any embargoes or confiscation of Japanese products and as a result of that Supreme Court decision. Also, withdraw the complaint from the World Trade Organization that South Korea filed against the Japanese. The ball is in your court, South Korea. It was your Supreme Court that ruined this whole thing, and it was you who filed at the WTO, and it was you who keeps resurrecting of the past. The Japanese Prime Minister Abe is only reacting to your actions. <laughs> Shove the comfort woman lady in President Trump's face, and he's going to forget about it? But he's nuts. <laughs> we'll see you. God bless you. God bless America. God bless the nation you happen to be, and God bless our good friends and trusted allies in the land of the rising sun, Nyankoku, Japan. Now, not all South Koreans, just the Comfort Woman Mafia, the Lunatic Supreme Court, and that dizzy administration of President Moon. See ya. <laughs>